In Egypt, they have been burying their dead. Tuesday signaled the start of three days of mourning. There has been a political fallout as Finance Minister Hazim al-Bablavi has now quit over the government's handling of the protests. On the streets, many point the finger at the army and blame them for the 26 deaths and not religious tensions between Coptic Christians and Muslims. We have always been friends. As Muslims and Christians, we eat and drink together. My friends are Christian, my dearest friends, even more than some Muslims. And we have always been friends. What happened is something that was plotted because of the elections. All our lives we have been together, Muslims and Christians, and there is no discrimination at all. Millions of problems have happened before, and they were solved within a few hours. What happened is totally foreign to us, and God help us to find out where this came from. Anger among the cops was evident at some of the funerals. Many Egyptians feel the ruling military council, which was handed the power to govern by President Husni Mubarak before he was ousted, want to delay forthcoming elections. The cops have a number of grievances against the interim administration.